All right, welcome back to the channel. Celtics and Marcus Smart, breaking news, come to an agreement on a contract extension. Cam Shams just tweeted out saying, Boston Celtics guard Marcus Smart has agreed to a four-year, $77.1 million max contract extension to stay with the franchise. The fully guaranteed deal through 2025-26 includes a trade kicker. What does this mean for the Celtics? What is my take on it? I'm going to get into all of that in this short video. To be honest, I'm pretty excited about it. Now, why is that? Well, one, and this is the easiest part, you really don't want to head into a season with the unknown. Like, what is Marcus Smart going to be feeling? What, how is he going to be playing on a contract year? You don't really want to go into that type of atmosphere where maybe Marcus Smart's going to try and prove himself, do things out of character, all that. So now that's off the table. Marcus Smart now is signed. You're going to get a Marcus Smart that feels comfortable, feels worthy, feels valuable, and hopefully he gets back to doing the Marcus Smart things that we love. Two, I think... This is a reasonable contract for him. It's just a little over $19 million a year, which again, like I always question, do I want to pay Marcus Smart $20 million? That was sort of the, eh, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe I do, maybe I don't. This is less than that. So it's kind of a no brainer to me to be like, I think that is his value. I've said that in previous videos on the channel. I've said it on the podcast. I've tweeted it. $20 million to me was Marcus Smart's market value. And he's getting just about that, even under. So as a consumer of the sport and of the team, I think that that actually is a really good rate for Marcus Smart. There was guys getting more money than him out there that really didn't seem like they were as good of a player as him. So I'm in on it. I like it. I like the fact that it's sort of, I'm not going to say totally team friendly. It is like the max extension. So maybe it's not totally team friendly, but what it is, it's definitely a salary that one, it's his, it's his market value. So boom, there you go. But two, now Marcus Smart's on your team for four years and that's a tradable asset. So even if you hate the Marcus Smart signing and you don't think that he's worth the money or, you know, he's a changed player, all that sort of, you know, stuff that we've heard this entire off season and last year too about Marcus Smart. You now have a guy that you can actually trade and teams might actually want to trade for because there's no question marks surrounding, well, what's he going to do next year? If the Celtics wanted to move Marcus Smart, they can look the other team in the eyes and say, he's got, he's yours for four more years. So even if you hate the deal, even if you hate Marcus Smart, you have to come to some sort of like, hey, 19 million sort of his value. They got him right there for that. And if I don't like him, if he's not working out, you know, if the rumors are true that Brad didn't like his unpredictable play, all that stuff. Well, now you have a guy that for four years locked down on a contract that you can trade. So you guys, I mean, you know me, I am so lost when it comes to the Celtics finances this offseason. I've completely lost track. Them paying Marcus Smart now for four more years, I don't know how much that fits into the let's make a splash next year in free agency. But again, you never really know if, you know, just because a guy signs for four years, the Celtics may not be thinking he's going to be here four years from now. They may be wanting to lock him down in case they want to trade him or something. But my personal take is I do think that that's a completely fair number for Marcus Smart. What he does and how he plays, do I think that that's truly a $20 million a year type of player? Probably not. But the market dictates itself and the players that are available in that free agency and everything like that, you know, that dictates what a guy has ended up, what he's going to end up being paid. You know, this was his value. They got him at a slight, slight bargain from what I truly believed was his value. And hey, now he's locked down in a contract that, you know, by the time this rolls around in 2025 or 2026, this $19 million a year is going to look pretty damn valuable if Mark Smart's still a Celtic player at that point. Either way, guys, I wanted to give you my take on it. I like this signing. I think that this eliminates any sort of question heading into the season. And it at least gives Marcus Smart sort of a sigh of relief, gives Celtics fans a sigh of relief. Like, we don't have to worry about that. And then even if you don't like the signing, you know, if you're more on the let's get rid of him, screw Marcus Smart type of ship, you now maybe are going to get your wish that there's more of a chance that he's going to be traded because not many teams are going to go and overpay for Marcus Smart or give you anything in terms of value for Marcus Smart if he was just going to walk at the end of the year. Now he's locked down in a in what will be a team-friendly deal by the end of it. You could see him move now. If you guys like that video, if you do, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for all the recent subs. I love it. You guys are killing it lately. I can't thank you guys enough. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll catch you guys in the next video.